Oh my God, look at this thing. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back with another unboxing slash review of this Nacto bike. Nacto reached out and sent me this bike, so shout out to Nacto. I'm gonna unbox this, put it together, and I'll give my honest opinion about this bike. So without further ado, I'll need the help of me to help me unbox this. So, other me, can you help me? Nah. Come on, man. Just give me a box cutter. Ah, finally. Thank God. Sheesh. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this box. done we like I said have the charger over here I'll put that aside we have the manual and then we have this bag with some open-ended wrenches and allen key and extra fuse in case the original one blows so keep this aside in a safe place you got a screwdriver as well all right so I'm done putting it all together and the bike is looking beautiful but let's talk about some specs of this bike so we got a 500 watt hub motor in the rear which can deliver about 52 newton meters of torque. We got a removable 48 volt, 10 amp hour battery, which can deliver about 22 miles of range. Again, we're gonna test that, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have more videos about this bike, like a range test and all that other stuff. We got Shimano six speed in the back with the switcher up on the top. And there's a thumb throttle as well. Front and rear brake. A nice display up on the top that uh, gives you all the information you need. We got the horn and the front light. Now, as far as the frame, it's a 6061 aluminum, which is pretty sturdy, but at the same time, pretty light. So you can lift it up from your, uh, from your car, from your truck. The cool thing about this bike that I really like is it's called a folding ox. And it actually folds right here in the center piece. You can fold the frame, throw it in your trunk, even if you don't have a truck, throw it in your trunk, go to the beach. We have a pretty nice leather seat that looks pretty comfortable, to be honest. Uh, again, I'm gonna test that out when I ride on the bike. And we have this nice front suspension, which again, we'll give it a, a test when we're riding, but so far it looks pretty nice and feels pretty nice. It's got super beefy tires in the front, 20 inch, super comfortable is what it looks like. Again, we're gonna test that out. As far as price, prices change all the time, but as of making this video, the price is $1,200 for this folding ox on the Nacto website. And again, if you use code VOLTED60, you'll get $60 off and support the channel, support your boy, so highly appreciate that. But as of right now, the battery is about halfway charged. I'm gonna plug it into the wall, give it about four or five hours until it's fully charged, and then we're gonna hit the street and see what this bike is all about. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Do a little bit of a road test over here. See that takeoff on there? Not bad. I also want to see what the top speed is. I'm on the highest assist level and I'm uh, thumb down, full throttle, 22, 22 miles an hour. It's not bad for the, the type of class e bike it is. Yeah, the maneuverability is pretty nice. 
reminds me of my uh, younger days when I used to ride BMX so that's pretty fun and again this is more of like a, a beach cruiser in my opinion where you just take it to the beach and stroll around or if you're gonna go camping in a campground as far as that goes this, this is amazing and soon I will shoot a range test on this so definitely make sure to subscribe and all that good stuff if you like e-bike content that's what we do over here but yeah these fat tires I mean they got some grip so I definitely like that like that a lot you try some of this pedal assist yeah it kicks in right away that's a nice way to stroll around and uh, no law enforcement can tell you anything this is completely legal so that's the cool thing about it throttling amazing let's go ahead and go to the park and go on some dirt trails and see what this thing can do see you there all right guys so i'm over here at this little like park community place which is again a perfect place to bring this bike in and let's see let's start with the the lowest part uh, lowest assist level and hit the thumb and it's it's going this is again for those places if you're gonna go stroll the beach boardwalk type area we're gonna go over there as well the tires so far are pretty uh, comfortable the suspension is all right we're gonna test that out in a little bit as well we're gonna go off-roading too all right let's find uh, a place where we could test out some of the different pedal assist modes See how fast this thing goes we can actually take it a little off-roading as well so let's go to assist two and i'm just pedaling and let's do some off-roading over here looks about like 10 miles an hour the speedometer is pretty accurate so it shows that i'm doing 11 my gps is showing that i'm doing 11 so that's pretty cool that they got that on point let's bump it up a notch pedal assist four and see what we get we'll see how it handles some of this terrain let's see what it can do over here where this lead us good chance to uh, test out the brakes pretty cool you think I can make it up that hill let's see we'll go to assist 5 and see if we can make it up this steep hill right now Oh yeah, no problem. Look at that. Just did it. I'm surprised actually. Did it with no problem. Let's try this uh, another hill and see what happens. What's up, brother? Hey, that's a badass scooter, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Badass bike. Yeah, thank you, brother. Hi, right, guys. All right. Take care, brother. All right, so that's cool. We got some compliments on the bike as well. But so far, look how quiet this thing is. It's so nice, so quiet. Uh, let's see if it can handle a different type of terrain like this rocky road over here. All right, so this is definitely asking a lot from this bike. And I mean, it is, it is handling this. No problem, but ooh, we reached a a dead end over here but i mean if it did this i'm pleasantly surprised that's insane and definitely a lot to ask from this bike not the typical route you'd be taking with this bike anyways so far the seat is okay it is comfortable not the craziest but it is comfortable I guess you just need to kind of break it in a little bit more and it'll get more comfortable but it's it's not bad at all actually it's very nice uh the so suspension is is all right i'm i'm kind of taking it through the extremes right now and it's handling it no problem so on the road it should definitely be nice let's see what the top speed is of this thing Ooh, in the corner right there. 
23 miles an hour on this thing is off-roading is actually pretty nice and also let's talk about NACTO for a little bit NACTO has been in business since 2016 I'll show you guys a little bit of their website they got uh, a wide selection of different e-bikes so they're all about affordable e-bikes if you look at their prices they have very decent prices for all of their e-bikes very competitive and yeah check out some of their other options you might uh, find an e-bike you really like i really like this folding ox because of the whole fact that it, it folds and i can take it to the beach and other places so make sure you check them out i mean you might like a different type of bike and my code code uh, voltage 60 if you use that you'll get 60 dollars off any of their bikes on their website so i'll definitely uh, leave a link down in the description make sure you check that out but so far first impressions man this this bike is is nice i really like it it's handling this terrain way better than i thought i'm i'm highly surprised very very surprised and like i said guys make sure to subscribe to the channel soon we're going to take this on a range test and see what the how many miles we can actually get from this battery uh hopefully it's a lot if you guys enjoyed this review we're gonna have a lot more reviews of different e-bikes make sure you subscribe to the channel leave a like hit that thumbs up hit that notification bell it's the only way to let me know i'm doing a good job and it's kind of the fuel to the fire to let me continue doing this so that will be highly appreciated but that's pretty much it for me hope you guys enjoy this and i'll catch you on the next one peace